I'll be creating an Azure virtual machine that will be used as a jump server to access uh, the Azure SQL managed instance that is created in uh, South India region. So let's click on Azure virtual machine and then uh, create a uh, virtual machine here. I'll be selecting um, uh, uh, resource group JBMISI. I'll be uh, naming this virtual machine as um, JB jump server. Uh, I will uh, leave everything else as default here uh, uh, till uh, the image. Uh, image, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to select uh, Windows 11 Pro uh, 21H2 Gen 2 and then I'm uh, going to select um, um, the size as B2S. This would be fine for me with uh, 2 vCPUs and 4 GB RAM as I'm going to run only um, um, SSMS on this particular uh, VM. So let's give Keen a, a strong password for this admin account, which will be used to log into uh, this particular virtual machine. So public inbound port, since it is a um, uh, demo machine, I'm going to uh, uh, open uh, RDP port 33H9. I will select the um, required things next. I will be clicking on disk and uh, here what I'm going to do is like I'm uh, going to use a, um, a standard SSD here. Uh, I think that should be fine for me. Um, so I'm checking this option delete uh, with VM and everything else would be uh, a default here. Let me click on next. This is going to be very, very important. I'm uh, going to use this JB SI VNAT, which is basically um, uh, uh, the VNAT that I've used for the Azure SQL managed instance. So under this, we have two subnets. Uh, one is uh, for um, your Azure SQL managed instance and the other one is specifically created for this jump server. So now since these two subnets are uh, under this virtual network, we will be able to uh, connect to the Azure SQL managed instance using this particular uh, um, uh, virtual machine. Yep. So uh, I'm going to leave everything else as uh, default here and uh, I'm going to uh, click on next. I will leave everything else uh, default here and then I will click on next. Uh, it will be all default here too. Uh, click on next. Again, it is going to be all uh, uh, by default. I'll not be putting anything for the tags and then I will be uh, creating the virtual machine here. So let me create the virtual machine. So the virtual machine is created now. Let's go to the resource. So uh, it is currently running. So what I'll do is like I will uh, try uh, connecting to it. So let's click on uh, download. What I'll do is like I will select this one and then let me try opening that. Let's uh, key in the required uh, username and password to connect to this virtual machine. So what I'll do is like I will log into this one and then I will basically uh, try um, uh, installing um, um, SSMS and then let's uh, try connecting to the managed instance that we have created in um, South India region. I will um, download the SSMS. I'm going to use um, SSMS 19 here. So let me download that and then I will uh, install uh, the SSMS and then we will try connecting to the Azure SQL managed instance. I will uh, start the SQL Server Management Studio installation and then we will try connecting to uh, the Azure SQL managed instance once the installation is completed. SSMS is installed now, so let's connect to um, uh, the Azure um, uh, SQL managed instance. So first I will uh, try connecting uh, to uh, uh, the Azure SQL managed instance using um, Azure Active Directory, a universal uh, with MFA. Remember we added um, uh, uh, this particular um, um, login, which is my email address uh, while creating the managed instance. So let me try connecting to it using this one. 
So I'm able to log into it. I'm uh, able to see um, a database called uh, JPS Wiki created here. So let me uh, disconnect that and then let me try connecting to it again using SQL Server authentication. So let's key in the password. then uh, this also works for us. So um, we were able to connect to the managed instance using um, um, uh, the SQL Server authentication and also using uh, Universal with MFA. Other two things also does work. Uh, it, it is just required that uh, we configure it properly. But as of now, uh, we tried connecting using SQL Server authentication and Universal with MFA. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.